Hello and welcome back to the team preview for SNS week four. We're going to be going up against uh, Thavage this week in what is set to be an interesting game. Um, as you can see here, I've got the standings up. I'm deciding to do it this way first and introduce the standings and where my where I am and where my opponent is. Uh, at the moment, you can see that I am currently on the top of the leaderboard as uh, the only person in the Pacific Division with a 4-0 record and 11 differential. Uh, my opponent is going to be Thavage, who is coming off of a lost game, I believe, and is currently 1-3 uh, with a negative 9 differential, 12th in the standings. Uh, not the start that Thavage would have been looking for, but there's still upset potential in terms of looking at this, because if you look at the teams, eh, things, things could be better for me. Um... As you can see, we're having a few internet issues currently. So, I'm going to have to refresh and hope it pops up. Oh, oh, there we go. Alrighty. Favage has the team of Cinderace, Annihilate, Monkey Dory, King Gambit, Thunderous, Esparthida, Cleavor, Cy uh, Cyclaz, Cy Cyclazar, there we go. Diplin, Berserker, Carbink, and Kamala. Terrifying team. To, to deal with. Uh, Cinderace, Annihilate, all both those two speak for themselves. King Gambit speaks for itself as well. Cleavor setting up rocks could be uh, terrifying. One one that I was really scared of actually is Terra Fairy Diplin. Um, and carving can also be a bit of an issue, especially uh, because it stops one of my major threats uh, to his team, which is uh, obviously Reggie Drago. Um, so interesting team all around. I think that Davidge with the team that um, they have at the moment really should be doing better than one and three. And honestly, this could be uh, Davidge's day, but I'm not going to make it easy for him. Uh, at least I'm going to try not make it easy for him. This is a really difficult matchup. Um, Scarf Annihilate can kind of destroy me. Um, there, there, there's so way too much to prep for. So instead of trying to um, prep for any individual mons, as my uh, thing has just, as my headphones have just died there. Uh, and so you guys will now not hear anything for two or for a little bit. In fact, you won't hear anything at all. Um, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, well, you guys don't need music. You guys just can listen to me, I guess. That works. Um, okay, well, that seemed to work, so... I don't know, bro. I don't know. We'll get some music back on here. Uh, let's put tension on. There we go. This is from the Octopath Traveler uh, soundtrack, by the way. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, Annihilate can really damage my team. Again, this thing, man... <laughs> we'll get through the teams we'll get through the team eventually uh just a matter of time i guess um scarf and Eyelight looks scary monkey dory looks terrifying in this matchup um it's such a difficult team to prep for and so instead of prepping for individual threats the whole time i was like right what is what is a win condition that I can get? And obviously, Monkey Dory going down or Carving, whoever the... Or, or Diplin going down. Once a Fairy type is out, then Reggie Drago can do things. And, and King Gambit as well. King Gambit's a pretty good check into Reggie Drago. But um, not this week, I don't think. We're going with a really unique set here. Uh, one that is very heavily inspired by... I think it was It's Envy. Uh, use this. That's the wrong button. There we go. So... Looking at our team here, we have Reggie Drago. Uh, Reggie, my Reggie Drago is a loaded dice, earthquake, dragon ant, scale shot, crunch set. Um, now, the only reason that I have crunch on here is, if I remember correctly, to help deal with the. Um, I think it was Espartha at the time that I was thinking of, but hopefully, scale shot would just kill it anyway. I think it was just an extra move because. Uh, it's not like, not like you get many moves um, that really do anything. I could put explosion on it. That would be very funny. Uh, but we won't do that. 
Uh, so yeah, Rigid Drago, lot of dice, Earthquake, Dragon Dance, Scale Shot, Crunch, Max Attack, Max Defense, Jolly Nature. Um, I think it's a really good bring here, personally. Um, unfortunately, we can't Terror this mod. So it does make it a bit difficult. Um, but at the same time, there's not, not a whole lot I can do, unfortunately. Um, hopefully I can get a knockoff at some point on the Diplin if they choose to bring the Diplin. If they don't bring the Diplin, then it could this could be a really good bring overall. Uh, so yeah, that's that's one mod that we're bringing. The next one is Alolan Muck. Alolan Muck has a really good matchup here. Comes in well uh, against King Gambit. Uh, can come in well against Despathra. Can come in well against Diplin. Uh, does well um, against monkey dory as well um really good mon to have here i've gone with max attack max hp adamant nature um with a little bit in special defense um knockoff is going to be massive to click here i've put acid armor on here in case i can come into a choice bex monkey dory on psychic get myself an acid armor and then annihilate becomes less of a threat although i am i'm tempted here to give something else to muck but we'll stick with this for now i think this should be this should be fine um realistically speaking um we do need to be careful of rage fists getting very powerful but again knock off the not not nothing on thabage's team really wants to get knocked off uh we've got girder that's right terror fighting girder uh is coming along but um probably not gonna be my terror captain to be honest uh, i don't see a point in bringing it but again max hp max uh attack with drain punch knock off defog and facade um guts eviolite i think this is just a good bring comes in well against king gambit um actually comes in relatively well against annihilate funnily enough um not that i can actually hit the annihilate back but it means that rocks can't be set up on the girder uh although i do need to be careful of defiant so that is something i do need to be careful of um yeah, it, it's a mon, again, it's another knockoff mon. It, can't, it just does well against the King Gambit, which I have been pretty scared by um, as well. So, yeah, I, I think overall it'll be a good mon to bring along. It even takes a Cinderace on fairly okay. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, next is Choice Scarf Espeon, Terra Psychic. No, no messing around here. I was like, I need to have a Scarfer. Uh, I need to have something just to be able to stop the Annihilate. Uh, so I've gone with, uh, obviously, Choice Scarf, Espeon with Draining Kiss, Psychic, Thunder Wave, Dazzling Gleam, Terra Psychic. Um, so that I can just fire high power Psychics off at everything. There's, obviously, King Gambit is there. Um, but I don't see a point in terroring into either one of those. I can't have, um, I've, I have changed my Terra type uh, for next week to be a, um... A week six, apparently, is act when it's active, um, which is interesting. Uh, but I think it'll be—I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good to have uh, Espion on the team. Uh, next, we have Heatran, Choppleberry Heatran with Flame Body, Will O' Wisp, Lava Plume, Stealth Rock, Protect. Literally, the only thing this thing here is here to do is get a burn um, on King Gambit if it needs to, uh, and Annihilate as well. It can come in, take a close combat. Or a drain punch and get a will o wisp off and that is he trains job essentially done if you can get rocks down even better uh we've got max defense max hp chopper berry uh with some special attack will o wisp lava plume stealth rock and protect obviously lava plume 30 percent chance to burn flame body has a 30 percent chance to burn so if you get hit at the same time as using lava plume 60 percent chance to burn if you miss out on that uh, unlucky really uh and stealth rock as well i've also gone with protect just in case I need to scout for something. Uh, but I don't think I will need to all that much. And the last one that I've gone with is Choice Band Lycan Rock Dusk with Play Rough, Iron Head, Close Combat, and Accelerock. Does well into pretty much all of the Pokemon outspeeds every Pokemon, even without a Jolly Nature. So I've gone with Adamant instead here just to ensure that I can get kills with Accelerock, especially against um, Cleavor if they do bring lead Cleavor. Um, Accelerock will be 
a big move to press. Do need to be careful of um, King Gambit coming in on Acceleroc and just getting a revenge kill. But again, I've got Heatran and I've got a lot of muck uh, for it. So overall, this battle should be a relatively close battle. I do need to be careful of low kick, um, eating up my chopper berry with Heatran, but we'll see what kind of set Davage ends up bringing. Um, we could end up not even seeing any of the ones that I'm expecting, but I think you'd be a fool to not bring at least Annihilate, Monkey Dory, and um, King Gambit. Hmm. So, without further ado, when you next see me, it will be in the middle of our battle. So, thank you, take care, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.